Israel has launched fresh airstrike on Beirut as the death toll near 600 amid escalating tensions. Mass exodus has hit southern Lebanon. Tens of thousands of people are fleeing their homes as Israel vowed to accelerate area offensive in Lebanon. Fear and tension gripped southern Lebanon and heavy Israeli bombardment. These are the images of heavy traffic on a highway leading from Lebanon's south towards Beirut. Countless cars, vans and pickup trucks are loaded with belongings and filled with people. Many families are fleeing fast, taking only the bare essentials or bare minimum with no clarity on what lies ahead. Displaced Lebanese have been clogging the highways, gathering in front of civic bodies and schools for shelter. Some of them have been fleeing the northern side of the country as well. والحمد لله جينا وصلنا يعني مشينا شو الساعة ثلاثة إلا ربع وصلنا شو الساعة عشرة لهون والحمد لله استقبلوا. We are gravely concerned about the serious escalation in the attacks that we saw yesterday. Tens of thousands of people were forced from their homes yesterday and overnight, and the numbers continue to grow. This is a region that has already been devastated by war. The Lebanese health ministry claims the death toll from Israeli strikes has reached 558, including 50 children and 94 women. At least 1,835 have been injured. The Lebanese government has shut all educational institutions till the end of this week. The recent attacks have left southern Lebanon in ruins. Israel, in its fresh offensive, has targeted Beirut's southern suburbs. Lebanon claims at least six people have lost their lives, while Israel claims to have killed a key Hezbollah commander called Ibrahim Kubesi, who was a leading figure in its rocket division. This is the second attack on Beirut for the second consecutive day. Israeli bombing also killed at least 11 members of a Lebanese family in the village of Akbir. Sources on ground say nine people were pulled from the rubble of a flattened building. There was no sign of military equipment on the site. Officials at the World Health Organization in Lebanon say that some of the hospitals are already overwhelmed by a large number of wounded. The United Nations says tens of thousands of civilians have been forced to flee their homes from the southern Lebanon and that any es further escalation would prove to be catastrophic. During an address at the United Nations General Assembly today, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that Lebanon is on the brink and that the world must ensure that it does not become another Gaza. He called the war-battered enclave a non-stop nightmare. Gaza is a non-stop nightmare that threatens to take the entire region with it. Look no further than Lebanon. We should all be alarmed by the escalation. Lebanon is at the brink. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden, during his final address at the global stage, warned against the full-scale war in West Asia. Several flights flying through the region's airspace have been suspended. Multiple UAE carriers, including Qatar Airways, Emirates, Fly Dubai, Etihad, Air Arabia, Kuwait Airways, Lufthansa, Transavia, have grounded the planes. The Rafik Hariri International Airport's website listed 15 outgoing and 29 incoming flights were cancelled. The French flag carrier Air France announced extension of the suspension of flights to and from Beirut to October 1st, citing security reasons. Meanwhile, Wiz Air, UK's British Airways, Azerbaijan Airlines have all cancelled flights to and from Ben Gurion Airport in Israel.
For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.